Any other comments? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, Councilwoman Perkins. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, as um, as my colleague made the resolution to go down to um, act in commissioners um, serve, um, I thought about the comments that were made by the um, Elizabeth Board of Education commissioner here this evening um, regarding the publication for police. And I thought about it, um, Mr. President, because um, that publication is for informational purposes. And it clearly denotes where the funding from that publication derived from, which was confiscated drug money. Now, the Board of Ed seems to put out a lot of publications, Mr. President, and we, it does not denote where the funding comes from from those publications. In addition to that, Mr. President, the speaker talked about um, our Elizabeth Police Department, which is one of the finest police departments in the state of New Jersey, if not America. Our police department is up to date. Our police personnel do have the proper equipment to go about in preventing and fighting crime and saving lives and protecting the citizens here in the city of Elizabeth. I take great offense to another elected official coming to our body talking about our police department. Thirdly, Mr. President, the only reason why if we are down in numbers is because of the current governor that sits down in Trenton, who our Elizabeth Board of Ed happily supported him wholeheartedly. And when the governor was sworn into office, he went on a direct attack against our police and fire personnel across the state of New Jersey. How dare he? How dare the speaker talk about our police department when it's one of the finest that we have in the state? It is well manned, male and female, and we constantly give out promotions when due. We recently had a class of close to 20 cadets, Mr. President, if I'm not mistaken, just last month, if I'm not mistaken. So I really take offense to um, elected officials coming up here trying to throw stones at our house when they live in a glass house. Mr. President, there's so many things going amiss in our, in our public school system. If you go down to school number one, George Washington School number one on Broadway, you see a lot of things arrive. If you, even if you go to Elmora, Elmora School number 12, you have children with no lives, but we can play close to a million dollars to a smoke screen investigation. Mr. President, we have some real fundamental issues with our Elizabeth Board of Education, but you don't see us as an elected body going to the Elizabeth Board of Education meeting trying to put stones. That's not how government's supposed to work, Mr. President. We're supposed to truly work together for the good of the taxpayers, but not what we heard tonight. You heard someone coming up here talking about a publication which is duly needed in a growing city that we have, trying to let people know that police personnel are available, that there are neighborhood meetings going on in your neighborhood, and you can go out to them, that you can connect yourself with police detectives that will be there to work for you. Now, I don't see anything wrong with that, Mr. President. Some may call it propaganda, other may call it service. So, Mr. President, I will be supporting wholeheartedly the resolution as it was stated by my colleague, Every Word. Thank you.